Welcome to Make sir? Moves TV. Thank you so I am much great. for having me. How are you doing? Doing, doing great. Thank always you for a pleasure. Yes, always yes, a pleasure. yes. And I'm happy for the, the work you're doing. It's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, I love the project. It's, it's really nice. Thank you very yeah, much. It's really, yeah. really, really nice. Really yeah. nice. As, as, I see uh, the work you do um, on YouTube and, and Facebook. Yes. You have a lot of you have a, a lot of followers, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're getting there. We're growing. We're yeah. growing. So let's talk about you. Tell okay. us about I'm, your I'm career. Here. Tell us about what you do. Share with us. Okay. Um, thank you so much for asking. Um, first of all, my name is Mukoi Usungu, and some people call me uh, Reverend Mukoi or Mr. Mukoi, but they don't know that the first name is Mukoi. So today, uh, I have a pleasure to let the whole world know that I am Mr. Usungu. <laughs> Mr. Usungu. <laughs> right. McCoy Usungu. McCoy Usungu, right. Um, I am um, married. Um, I've been married for 23 years. I am a father of a 21-year-old um, daughter. She's in college, um, almost finished. Uh, she's going back for her last semester. So uh, it is a blessing really to have her, and her name is Maya, and my wife is uh, Alejandra. Hi, baby. <laughs> I love you. So uh, I work for Forest Dell. Huh? I'm a fathering specialist. What does that mean, fathering um, specialist? Uh, fathering specialist is someone who works with uh, fathers. That's what I do. I've been doing this, this for many years, it's in 2001. So I've been in the, in the field of fatherhood for a long, long time. And um, uh, I love what I do. It's a great, great thing to work with fathers. And for many years, we, we've heard about resources the mothers have, right? And then all over the place, but you can only find a few for fathers. So um, working in this department in you know, Forest Dale or in Father Father Initiative is really um, fulfilling for me. And beside being a father and specialist, I am also um, a pastor. Uh, I pastor a church called uh, the United Family Fellowship. And as you hear the word United Family Fellowship, it can tell you the kind of uh, a spirit that I have, the kind of uh, you know vision that I have again is to bring families together again, but through the Word of God. So I'm a pastor. My church is in uh, in the Bronx. Um, What's the name of the church? United Family Fellowship. United Family. Fellowship. Yes, United F Family Fellowship. Cool. Yes, it's, it's a great thing to serve the community. So we are there to um, really uh, recon reconcile the world with God reconcile the men with men fellow men with fellow men so that's what we do so guys listen up this is good stuff because uh mr mccoy and only i'm allowed to call him mr mccoy because i've known him that's for many right. years and that's, that's what i've been calling him so for you it would be mr usungu right right but for me it's okay all right so get that straight but we are here to talk about what mr mccoy is very passionate about as well and we're going to get into that as to a second but I, what i want to say is this is what making moves tv is all about because here we have a gentleman who is a pastor doing good for his community you know striving for his family being a part of of, of god and and you know spirituality and everything and on top of that he's a fathering specialist so that alone you know as well does so much for the community that's definitely what making moves is all about so mr mccoy Thank you for being here once again and for doing what you do. I, I, I should be the one thanking you. you know, th again, thank you so much uh, for what you're doing, a great job. You know, uh, they say that uh, information brings transformation. Mm. So this is what Make Move is all about. Yeah, absolutely. It's, a, it's about transferring information that is creating transformation in people's lives. So Absolutely. you know I love stuff like this. Absolutely. You know, when Absolutely. it comes to empowering people, I am there with you. So again, yeah. thank you so much. We can see the excitement. Yes, <laughs> I'm so excited, so oh. excited. We've been planning this for so how long, you know? So long and, yeah. and look, look where Finally, we are now. Yeah. Yeah. Right? It's so amazing. Yeah. But again, uh, it's, it's a great thing 
great thing to uh, be part of this project. So I was saying that uh, I'm a father, pastor, fathering specialist, and I am also a musician, a singer, you know. Um, Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I, I do all that. I, I have a lot of hats. Yeah. You know, sometimes uh, it's very hard to, to see it until I tell somebody that I can sing, I can play an instrument. It was a wow, yeah. So I'll do all that. And right now I'm working on a project, um, working on my album that has wow. uh, yeah, um, 11 songs. It's a lot of work, uh, but I think very soon we'll have the album. Very soon, I'm on the stage of uh, mixing down the, the, the album. So very soon, you guys, you will have it. And uh, if you guys are interested in Mr. McCoy, what he's doing, absolutely sensational stuff. And you've got to tell us, how do you find time to do this stuff as well? But let me know, guys. Put it in the comment section below. I will definitely let you know when the album is released. Right. Yeah, it's, it, it, thank you so much for the question. Everything in life is about planning. It's about planning. One of the things that I do every day, and I, I've been doing this for, wow, well, maybe over 20 years, is um, creating a plan. I could do it, it could be weekly or daily. That's what I do. Um, it, people who are successful are those that plan, plan ahead. Uh, and, 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 and planning also helps you overcome some level of anxiety. You know, because when you don't plan, you become so anxious because it's like somebody who are walking on a street blind, you know. So one of the things that really has helped me do all that is the planning. I know there's a time for, for work, there's a time for family, there's a time for the church, there's a time for music. So planning has helped me a lot. And another thing is that uh, my wife, my family, very, very supportive in everything I do, they are very, very supporting. So I thank them for that, yeah. Absolutely, that's good stuff, guys. Kudos, the importance of planning. And you know what, too, guys? Even when you plan, you know, stuff happens. So imagine when you don't plan. <laughs> exactly. It's stuff on top of stuff on top of stuff. Right, so, yeah. And, and it just says something. I know, you know, we're here for... Uh, talking about me as a musician, but it, it, it seems like some some stuff that are coming out of your brain, you know, right? Because <laughs> you're full of information. You're talking about things that could happen, even if you plan, but things that could happen. And that's the reason why when you plan, you have to be flexible. See, if anything goes wrong, don't panic, friend. All they have to do is just to go back into your plan and reassess it, right? Yeah. Reassess it, reevaluate it, and say, where, what, what went wrong? And, and change some stuff, and that's it. So planning is important, but you got to be flexible. You don't want to be so rigid yeah. to the plan yeah. in case anything happens. Yeah, because right. that could be catastrophe when things don't go your way exactly yeah. according to plan, which right. doesn't happen all the time. Right, and, and there are many people who really give up. They would just yeah. move up yeah. because, well, I plan to do all this and then look what happened. Now, I can't do anything. I'm going to stop everything. No, you don't have to stop your plan. Keep on pushing. Just reevaluate your plan and move on. Thank you right. so much. That's great advice. Yeah. I think people will find much value in that. Right. Drum roll. <laughs> music. <laughs> Can I get some music? What you mean, getting some music? Well, first of all, tell me about the type of music, um, your album, and definitely where does Papa Wemba fit in in all this? Tell us about Papa Wemba. Tell us as much as you can. Okay. Um, like I said, I'm I'm uh, I, I, I'm a musician. I I'm, I'm a singer. I play um, gospel. Um, as a pastor, I think it makes sense, right? Yeah, it makes as sense. As a reverend, Absolutely. I, yeah, I play gospel music. Uh, I've been playing music for uh, all my life. I started when I was seven. I used to go to church and um, I used to watch the choir sing and I would go in front of the choir and I would dance. 
I remember one day um, I went to church and uh, I didn't have my shoes, so I borrowed my, uh, this is a secret, <laughs> I borrowed my, my brother's shoes. They, uh -huh. they, 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 they were big, you know, small feet but big feet shoes yeah right so i went to church with his, his his pair of shoes and the choir went up there singing and i like i always did i went to sing with the choir you know, dancing with the choir and my brother was sitting in the back of the church man that was a very bad day he wa he, he 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 came up straight to the front where i was dancing with the choir and he snatched his shoes from me, man. He took his shoes away from me in front of everyone. a crowd, everyone. <laughs> that was really bad. Man. Why? I don't get it. Like, why? Because, you know, I don't know why he did that, but uh, I, 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 let me put it this way. I did not ask permission. Oh. So, right. I did not ask permission. Oh. Yeah, I did not ask permission. Big so brother I, or little brother? Big brother. Big, big brother. brother. Mm. Yeah, big brother. Mm. You know, and this is a guy, I mean, I, I come right after him. Right. So you know how the children were close to each other, you know, I'm talking at age. Sometimes they fight. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So he just came in and snatched shoes away from me right in front of everyone. <laughs> Yeah, everyone. So it's just to say that, uh, you know, I, I've been singing um, so long. Um, I had a, an album in 1990. So, yes. before you talk about the album, so what happened? You just gonna leave us there and your shoes got taken uh -oh. away? Then what? <laughs> How'd you cope with it? <laughs> uh, once he took the shoes off, yeah. I, listen, I had to go back and sit down because <laughs> it was so embarrassing, man. Yeah. So, so okay. embarrassing. Thank but we are great, great, great friends now. You know, he's a pastor also. The Lord calls us together in the ministry back in 1979. You know, we've been, uh, you know, been um, deeply involved in the ministry. So, um, but that's what happened in life, you know. So I never give up. Um, I remember uh, being involved in, in, in a musical competitions, you know, and um, sing with people who, that were popular in those days in my town, you know. Yeah. So I've been doing this quite a while. Um, my first album was in 1990, I think 1997, um, cool. but I, I did not really uh, make, make too much noise about it, you know. Again, um, I sponsor my own music, so I don't have like a producer, anybody who, you know, so I do everything at my pace. Wow, that's yeah. even more work. <laughs> yeah, more work, more work. Yeah. And, and this particular album that I'm working on is taking so long because, um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm my own sponsor, yes. you know, so everything depends uh, depends on me. Yeah, you not know. only financially, but time-wise time too. Time-wise, exactly. You know, so yeah. the everything exactly. takes time, yeah. you doing does. multiple things, yeah. with family, you know, yeah. definitely. Yeah. You know. So, um, yeah. But this and, and album will definitely, you know, sometimes they say the, the longer it takes, the better it is. So. Yeah, and I believe in that. I believe, I want to do something, uh, I want to do it right, you know. You have many musicians and singers that take six years just to work on one album. Yeah. Now I understand why. Yeah, you know, absolutely. You got to do it right, and when people listen, they are blessed. You know, they listen, they're uplifted. So I want to do it right. I don't. I'm not competing against anybody. Right. Um, I'm who I am. I'm my own individuality. So, so just for any other musicians out there watching, when you say do it right, right, just give me like one example at least. What do you classify as doing it right? right very good. Um, when when it comes to music, you have a two main parts. You have the lyrics itself. Okay. You want to make sure that I know now. The, the, the world has evolved into some other stuff. Me personally, I don't believe in. Um, when you listen to the lyrics nowadays, it, it's sometimes very hard to listen to those songs because it's, it's full of filth. I mean, 
The music is supposed to be something that will unify friends, relationships, or families. You can have uh, your five-year-old sitting next to you and listen to music. You don't have to worry about a curse word. But these days, it's completely different. So you have lyrics. Then you have another part. We talk about the arrangement of the music and the music itself, right? Because uh, you have to make sure the music is well arranged and well produced. You know, we're talking about beats, all those things. You know, and, and it goes again with the, what kind of um, the style you, 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 you want to produce. So you got to take time. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you go to the studio all day just doing one thing. You know, yeah. just one thing. Repeating the same thing over and over, over and over, just to make it right. Just to get it right. Yeah, yeah. to get it right. And, and, and you know, I think that's a key value for anything in life. Yeah, too. that's exactly. a wonderful recipe, not just for for music, but yeah. for anything. You know, exactly. When it comes to doing it right. Right. You that's know. it. So, so you, I, I just want to do it right. And 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 you asked me the question about Papa Wemba. Mm -hmm. uh, Papa Wemba is um, we call the icon of of the um, Congolese music. He, he was uh, big, I mean, he was big. Um, and uh, he started his career as a musician. Uh, don't remember the year, exactly the year, but it, this is someone who went through a lot in, uh, throughout his career uh, before he became famous, you know. But one thing that I've learned from him was he was uh, so consistent, persistent, you know, persistent. Um, so he worked his whole way up, you know, um, became famous. Um, he, one, another thing is that he came from my, my tribe, Titila. You oh, know, yeah, okay. he came from my tribe, we spoke the same language. Okay. Um, so um, when he passed, it was really um, uh, a big loss for Congolese music. And we're still feeling it now uh, because he passed uh, on April 24th. So we still, that it's still fresh for many people, and especially me. And um, I remember it was uh, um, he had a concert in in uh, Abidjan, and um, he sang the first song, the second song, the third song on stage. Uh, the fourth song, in the middle of that song, the man collapsed. He collapsed. And he, he passed, and uh, and that was uh, on April 24th in the morning. It was a Sunday, so um, I woke up. I woke up in the morning and trying to get ready for my uh, the the service. And uh, one of the the musicians, Congolese musician, um, hey, Vien Guma, God bless you, Nguma Lokito. He's a bassist. He plays guitar, bass. Okay. Called me, uh, he was so devastated and asking me, Pastor, do you know that uh, Papa Wimba just passed? I said, What? What happened? It was a shock. And he said, Can you help me do something here? I really, I really, I can't take this. And I said, You know what? I'm going to write a song for Papa Wimba for, uh, for his um, tribute. And that's exactly what I did. I took my piano, my keyboard, and I got some stuff together, a melody, I wrote a song. You know, we went to the studio, Nguma um, Lokitu um, did the arrangement, the music, and we had also a great guy, um, the studio guy, who gave us free time in the studio. Uh, Josel Almeis, right, did a wonderful job, arranged the music nicely, and um, we, we did it. Papa we bambocho, e kuma nyambocho, we mbadi yombocho, nyeso tonombe. Papa we bambocho, e kuma nyambocho, we mbadi yombocho, nyeso tonombe. Kanji, kanji, kanji lutima Anna lengo chenyo longe lukumula telo 
I'm happy to sing for for his tribute. He, he was an honor for not just Congolese, but he was known internationally. You know, even BBC talked about him. You know, Europe, Asia. He used to have a concert in Japan. All the, you know. A big, international, yeah, international musician. So absolutely. Yeah, so what I type of music was he? Was he Rumba? The Kuli Rumba. Oh, okay, Rumba. Yeah, yeah Rumba. Okay. Um, and where can uh, people find uh, this, this tribute that you made? Um, YouTube. Find it? YouTube. Um, all they have just click. Um, you could even type my name, Reverend McCoy. Okay. Uh, so it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Cool. So what I'm yeah. going to do, guys, if you click the description section below, you'll right. see the link there. I have the link there. That's going to be linked right to Papa Wemba's tribute. Just right. click on the link below that says Papa Wemba's tribute, and it'll take you straight to his tribute. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so um, much. So, yeah. That's, so, so that's what I do. Yeah. So yeah. he was a major influence. On, yeah, on very, him. very much. Even um, just um, talking about clothing. Mm. Yeah, he was. Uh, he had a great, great influence on uh, generations and generations. Um, he loved dressing. You know, he he loved he loved. He was uh, we we call in French uh, sapper, uh, people who are into clothing. Okay. You know, the big designers. We talk about Yuji Yamamoto. We talk about uh, Oscar de la Renta, all those people. Wow. So he was he was big. He was yeah. big. Yeah. He was big, uh, but listen, we, we thank God. Um, uh, although we, we we still feel the loss, but I believe that things happen with reason. You know, uh, things happen with reason. If he did not die, um, I mean, um, by illness, any illness, he could have died by anything else. So, you know, when God put a line, he put a line. That's it. So, but um, yeah. So that's what I do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you, he was uh, used to listen to him a lot, like his music. Yes, I, I did. I did. Um, uh, and 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 if I could be honest, it, it took me there are many years that I did not really pay so much attention to secular music, but at time to times I would listen to his music because his music was clean. Yes. See, the music was clean. He used to talk about life in general, you know, relationships. And, uh, he used to talk about, uh, there was a song that I love, really uh, talk about um, slavery. Wow. Yeah, it's yeah. a powerful song, powerful song. He mentioned um, uh, people like, uh, you know, the civil rights um, activists like, uh, um, um, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., oh, okay. you know, Nelson Mandela. So he sang things. about these people in his music as well? Yes, yes, oh, yes. That's, that's yes, good stuff. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's very so, enlightening. Mm -hmm. So um, I used to listen to his music um, time to time, um, yeah, because it was clean. I didn't have to worry about, you know, uh, curse words or, you know, dirty stuff in the music. Yeah. Yeah, he just sang. Uh, it, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, back to you now in the music. What can you tell us about your album? Are you going to sing for us? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, my, my album, it, it's almost finished. Um, I have 11 um, songs. It's almost finished. Um, yeah, if I could sing um, just, just a portion if I could do that. Absolutely. That's, that's Bless one. us. Uh, I have many songs, so I have to think which one. Uh, I think I could sing this one. Oh Lord, my God, you are my hiding in place. I'm standing in your presence and I'm safe. You comfort me, O oh Lord, with your amazing grace. I'm standing in your presence and I'm safe. You are my hiding in place. You are my hiding in place. You are my hiding in place, oh Lord. That's oh, it. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just your voice alone is very, very humbling. Right. So, uh, plans for the future. What 
plans do you have for the future? We've spoken about your past, we've spoken right. about your present. Tell us about your future. Uh, future right now, really, I remember I have a ministry. Yes. You know, I have a ministry um, and I want to continue the ministry. Uh, but really what I want to do, most of all, is to continue to help the community. You know, um, talking about families. And if there's a one thing we didn't mention, uh, my radio, Black Talk Radio. Hey, right? Uh, called um, God's Daily Council, right? But really, for future, I want to continue helping families, yeah, strengthen relationships within families, relationship between God and people, people to people, and people themselves. You have, that. yeah. Is this what your podcast is about? Because now I'm hearing about, well, not hearing about, now you're really talking about the podcast to me. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about the podcast, what it's right. about, what you do there, when, when do you air, stuff yeah. like that. Um, the, the, the Blog Talk Radio um, is, um, is a show that I use, it's once a week, every Thursday from 9 to 10, it's an hour. Uh, it's called Deal, uh, Gas Daily Council. It's really about, it's all similar to what you do in terms of information, right? So it's, it's about really counseling people, um, you know, empowering people um, to do or to fulfill their God-given talents. Or somebody, i give you a simple example, uh, people who are uh, in relationships or married couple, for example, and they be maybe going through some difficult times, um, they can listen to that. Okay. Um, what about calling? Do you allow people to call in? As yes, well? yes, we we do allow people to call to call in. We have a capacity, I think, of fifty people. Fifty people, yes. So. Uh, again, that's another thing uh, that shows again how much I love helping families, you know. So it's really about, that's what we call the God's Daily Council. We talk about everything, we talk about parenting, we talk about uh, domestic violence, we talk about what's happening in, in, in the country. We talk about everything, freedom, all those things. Yeah. So, yeah. So. yeah. And uh, guys, I'm going to put the station, the link to the station, it's on Blog Talk. Right. right in the description section, so you just look for the station at the bottom right there. Click the link, it'll take you straight to Mr. McCoy's uh, yes. podcast. But I also want to say, guys, you know, there's a lot of help out there. Sometimes, you know, people are not just going to hold your hand and cross the street. You know, you got to you make moves, you know, click these links, go to these places and just listen up. You know, you learn a lot by listening, you know, sometimes just listening to some of these shows, your questions could be answered if you're going through any kind of challenges, you know, that's related to... To the podcast you know just tune in listen you know try and make a call hopefully you get on the show you know and you, you can ask a few questions you know, right guidance comes you know yeah. so many different forms yeah and there are many relationships that are broken just because they don't want to seek help you know I believe um, in one thing that Jesus said that uh, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free Every situation, uh, you know, that takes place in our lives has a particular truth that needs to be known. See that? When it, you talk about intimacy, for example, um, there are many people who think that intimacy is just sex. Right. They, they don't know the whole truth about intimacy. And this is not just youngsters. I mean, this is... Everybody. You adult. Every, all ages, mm -hmm. I, and, and I work with couples, and it, sometimes you ask the man, so are you intimate with your wife? The first thing that goes through his mind is sex. So what I have created is uh, what I call the, um, the power of agreement. Couples need to agree on what they call intimacy. It got to be, they have to be on the same page. When you, you ask, your, you, you tell your wife, listen, we, we, we have a great intimacy. Are you sure you have a great intimacy? Is that what really she calls intimacy? 
a woman would say intimacy for her maybe just taking a walk going through a park right and the man would say well it's taking you, you to a movie so you got to come to an agreement to know exactly what do you call intimacy each one have to have, you know you have to be on the same page and that's the way you you grow together so we believe that um um intimacy truth, truth is needed in our society today mm -hmm. ignorance will kill you and that's the reason again i love your station make a move yeah and these stuff are very important because you know sometimes if we don't get the basics right home which is very basic sometimes no matter how much we strive we just can't achieve because the foundation is not set in place mm -hmm. there's not a proper structure mm -hmm. at home it's you know it may be difficult to concentrate it may be difficult to go out there and, and do what you need to do so right you know home is very important yeah That's it is home, right yeah it is yeah. it is it is um it, you just um, said something very important at home you got to have a stable home okay? yeah yeah, you got to make somebody happy. Yeah, on the yeah. same page. The same you know, page. those are key words. Everybody yeah. being on the same the page. Same page, the same. You cannot. I, I, I say this not just to regular people. I mean, to, but I also mention this time to time, even to people who are in the ministry. I'm talking about pastors, for example. You know, you can be a powerful pastor, a powerful pastor today, but if you, you and your wife, you are not on the same page. One day that that means you will collapse. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Or you, you. Well, let me let me let me backtrack what I just said. The ministry may continue, but without it may be without you, because no no one has the power to destroy the church of God. But you may not be the one to finish the ministry. It may be somebody else. Just yeah, because fine. things that are happening in your home, yeah. there's a truth that you don't know about how to take care of a woman, how to take care of her, care of your your husband. So there's always a truth for a particular situation. You want to finances? There's, there are secrets to become rich, okay. right? But um, uh, again, I want to thank you so much. Absolutely, so much absolutely. So we spoke about music. We spoke right. about uh, a little bit about planning. We talked so much here. Um, we paid tribute to Papa Wemba. Yes. You know, so great guy. You know. Great guys, absolutely. So, uh, how can people get access to your album when it's released? Like, suppose I want your album, what do I do? Right, right now, um, I think I will begin selling it on um, iTunes. iTunes, yeah. yeah. That's the well, I will start th there because I don't have a producer yet, you know, or a distributor um, that I know right now. But I will begin there. So once um, the album is out, we'll have another show. Absolutely. So yeah, tell us, I'm are you on? Talk. Are you on Facebook as well? Uh, e yes, I am on Facebook. You see, yeah. see, that's the reason why you're here. Right? <laughs> yeah, Facebook. Awesome. Right. <laughs> how, how is your wife? She's doing good. She's, She's doing, doing great. great. Yeah. You are blessed. Um, you are blessed. Man. Yes. Thank very, you. very intelligent woman. Hey, <laughs> Alicia. <laughs> see, very, very intelligent woman. Very intelligent woman. You know. So. Again, um, I have Facebook, so once the album is out, I would be able to um, publish on Facebook, you know, and people will see clips. I think yeah. uh, this month I may have, a, um, yeah, at the end of the month, we're preparing for a clip for one of the songs. Cool. So, so guys, just click the drop down section below. Also, you'll see uh, links to Mr. Mc Mr. Yusungu, McCoy Yusungu's yeah, Facebook. You can call you can, uh, Mr. McCoy's. Mr. McCoy's, so yeah. You, you used to that. And everybody, it was my fault though, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, now I give everybody See, permission. now he's warmed up, yes. so now you can call him Mr. McCoy. McCoy. You can call Mr. <laughs> McCoy, it's fine. Yeah. So you can find Mr. McCoy. I'm just uh, having <laughs> fun here. Man. Just having fun with you. And you can find yeah. Mr. McCoy's <laughs> Facebook link and everything about Mr. McCoy, his bio, everything. Yes, so you can yeah. connect with him. You know, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I have lots of other interviews coming up, lots of great content that all can benefit you. You know, 
not just an interview, but an inf interview with information from people like Mr. McCoy. Thank you so much. Who Thank you. Let, let, listen to this guy. Listen to this guy. Listen to this. If you want information, if you want to prosper, if you want to advance in your project, check it out, check it out, check it out with Make a Move. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I want to thank uh, all my fans. I want to thank uh, my church family. I want to thank my baby, Alejandra, my, my daughter. I want to thank also my um, big brother, Nguma Lokito, who's always there. Uh, support me with the music. Never mind God the shoes. You. Never mind <laughs> the shoes. I won't forget about the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank my family, everybody. And again, special thanks to um, Mr. Arthur. And his family. Thank you so much for having me. Always a pleasure. Today. Always Thank a pleasure sure. having you. Thank you. Make most TV, guys. It you can use crazy. yeah. You can use that for your generic. They call it. I don't know how to say generic. It. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Usungu. Usungu. Mr. McCoy. All these years. You know the song. I just that little thing. I just did. Oh. See? Yeah. So I've been calling you Mr. McCoy all these years. Oh, it's still, it's still on, man. Yeah. Edit. Cut. Right. So, yeah, Mr. Mr. McCoy. Yeah, because uh, it was not your fault. You got to get out there and you got to make moves. You got to do what you got to do. Nothing is going to come to you. You know, don't expect anything to come to you. And if you want these things, you, you dream of these things. You don't make any effort and make any moves consistently to go out and get it. And there's nothing wrong with that either. As long as you don't make any excuses, 